Happy Monday. How you doing? Happy Blessing Day. Today is Blessing Day. Today's message is the curse-free blessed life. How to live it. How many of you know that you cannot live a blessed life unless you live a curse-free life? Nobody knows that. Nobody but me. And some of you. You understand, you should by now, that in order to live a blessed life, you also have to live a curse-free life. That's where I'm taking everybody. I want everybody to live a curse-free, blessed life. That is a life of health and abundance. We're going to go through that today. Amen. We're going to start on it. Living a curse-free, blessed life on this Blessing Monday. Today is the day that everybody calls for the blessing. Say, Pastor Jim, I want my blessing for the week. My phone will ring all day long. I need to warn you that uh, tomorrow morning, probably tomorrow until late in the afternoon, I will not be available on the phone. So everybody needs to know that. So if you want to call me tomorrow, call me probably after four o'clock and then I'll be available till midnight. But I won't be available all day long. I'm uh, having some stuff done and, and I just will be totally out of touch for a few hours, which is very unlike me because I'm almost never out of touch. But uh, I'll be available after four o'clock tomorrow. So everybody needs to know that. So if you need to call me tomorrow, Tuesday, call after four o'clock in the afternoon. And then I'll be available. Amen. But today, say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Amen. I'm a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Say that every day. And don't forget today, especially on Blessing Day, that you call me when you do your offerings and donations today. Because I want to speak the blessing, the word for word blessing over your offering. We're teaching this week out of the blessing book. The blessing book. If you're new to this ministry, you know that we've written eight books. Nine, actually. And there are eight of them are available on Amazon. And this was the first one, The Blessing. This is the most important book, second most important book ever written on The Blessing. This book not only uh, teaches you how to get The Blessing, <clears throat> but what to do and how to live there. It's actually going to be available as an audio book very soon. It's all done. It's being processed. We're just waiting for approval by Amazon. And then it'll be on there. Amen. So keep checking back with Amazon. It'll be available. And a lot of you can listen to it for free. You can listen to this book, The Blessing. So get that book. But I want to talk to you today about living a curse-free, blessed life. If you go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 in your Bible, anybody have a Bible? Deuteronomy 28, it tells us right here, verse 1 through 14 is the blessing. This is the blessing of the Lord, the blessing of Abraham, word for word. How many of you know that? That God doesn't keep us guessing about anything. He tells us what the blessing is. Word for word. And if you want to live in this, everything you need to live a successful, prosperous, abundant, healthy, stress-free, happy life is in verse 1 through 14. God will open his good treasure to you. God will command the blessing to come upon you. 
Now, I started reading this years ago, and I realized that this was not going on in my life. See, that's the first step toward living a curse-free, blessed life is to realize you don't have it. And if you go to verse 15 through 68, you will very quickly see that this, and you can see I got it marked up a little bit, folks. This is the curse of the law. Now, I know that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. I know that. You know that. But it has gotten back into the lives of people. How do you know? All you have to do is read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68. If you see anything in there that's going on in your life, any sickness or disease, the curse of the law is working in your life. It tells us in verse 29, And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, but thou shalt be only oppressed forever, and nobody will be able to help you. If you are having financial problems, the curse of the law is in operation in your life. If you're having any financial problems, if you are not prospering in your way, if, if what you have gets taken away from you. See, that was me. Everything I ever got was taken away from me. Everything was stolen from me. Fell in with the wrong people. People deceived me. People literally actually stole my stuff. People I worked for robbed me, stole from me, lied to me, cheated me, deceived me. Some, somebody that I trusted, that I tried to help, stole a church from me, stole a building from me. I allowed a funeral home to use our church for their services because they didn't have a place. Now, is that the Christian thing to do? They bought the building out, they bought the church out from under me, threw us out and turned it into a funeral home. I trusted the wrong people. Why? Two reasons. Number one, I did not have any wisdom. I was just blindly trying to help people. And number two, the curse of the law was working in my life. And the curse of the law will steal everything you got. We had a, it was a beautiful church building. A beautiful church had been a Baptist church for 60, 80 years. And they built a new church and we got their old church. And it was wonderful. And that funeral home stole it from me. Bought it out from under us, behind my back. And we, and we lost our building. My fault. Nobody's fault but mine. But finally, I realized the curse of the law was working in my life. I just didn't know what to do about it. See, here's the thing about the blessing and the curse. God said, he says, I hold before you. Look at this. It's in Deuteronomy 30. I call heaven and earth, he says. I got Look at that. I got that marked. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. God has set before us life and death. Life only comes through Jesus. Spiritual death is to everybody without Jesus. You must be born again. You must be born again by saying, Father God, I repent for all my sins, and Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and be my Savior, and I will serve you for all eternity. That's how you get born again. That is choosing life. But on top of that, there's blessings and curses. We choose blessing and curses. 
I choose blessings. The only problem is I didn't know how to get it. I didn't realize that the curse of the law blocks the blessing. And if the curse of the law is active in my life, I can't have the blessing. And I didn't know that. Nobody knows that. Kenneth Copeland doesn't know that. Keith Moore doesn't know that. Creflo Dollar doesn't know that. T.D. Jakes doesn't know that. Joyce Meyer, Joel Olstein, none of those people know that. But I do. Because the Lord showed me. You cannot have the blessing of God upon you if the curse of the law is working in your life. Now that is how it works. Kenneth Copeland doesn't know that, but he broke the curse of the law. Go back and watch his archived Believer's Voice of Victory program. 2006, the manifestation of the blessing. Watch Monday's program and you will see what he did. He says, I stood up and rebuked the curse. And when he did, the blessing flowed into his life. He says that just flowed into his life. Gloria said the curse just dried up. Well, when the curse dries up, I got news for you. The blessing will flow. You cannot live a blessed life if the curse of the law is operating in your life. And I figured that out. And I broke the curse in my life eight years ago. And we live in absolute abundance, people. And so does everybody else that I broke that curse of the law in their life. The people who shut up and don't answer, ask all these questions. Pastor Jim, no, just be quiet. Allow it to work. I mean, we got people build million dollar homes, folks. We got people who became millionaires. Why? Because the curse of the law was broken in their life. And the blessing was spoken. Even Abraham had to have the blessing spoken into his life by Melchizedek in Genesis chapter 14. I figured all this out. Nobody else did. If Brother Copeland or Creflo or any of those people or Joel Osteen, if any of them knew this, they'd be screaming it every day on their radio program, on their television programs. But they don't know. But I do. And that's how I get so many people blessed with the blessing of Abraham. Because I know how to do this. The Lord literally had to speak to me and tell me how to do this. But I was seeking him for a long time over this. How many of you know Jesus said, seek and you shall find? I was seeking hard for eight months and I found it. I found the answer. And I know how to do this. I know that all I have to do when you call me is break the curse of the law in your life and speak the blessing and you will be blessed by the Lord. That's all. The Jewish people speak the blessing, folks. They know how to do this, but they won't tell you. You never hear a rabbi tell people how to get the blessing. But they all know it. They all know it, but they won't tell you. A doctor does brain surgery on people, but he don't tell everybody how to do it. Amen, mechanics know how to fix your car, but they don't tell you how to do it yourself. The Jewish people know they're all blessed. Why do you think they live in so much abundance? Because they know the blessing has to be spoken. You call me today. I will break the curse of the law in your life and <clears throat> speak the blessing over you. And I'm telling you what, folks, your whole life will change. It's so simple. I want all of God's people to be blessed. Go to my website, increasenow.com, and if the Bible is true.com, and, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Call me today to speak that blessing over you when you do your offerings and donations. I want you to live a curse free, blessed life.